This is what I refer to as turnarounds. I don't know if anybody else refers to it, but it's just a common name. You know, you turn around. It means if I'm doing something right-sided like this, I want to make a turn to a left-hand start. So I need to uh, do something, and that's what this lesson is about. First, there's some things we have to understand so we can communicate. You need to understand how to do alternating strokes in the 16th note formation. Now, I'm going to start doing single strokes, and I'm going to count in 16s, and I'm going to start with my right hand. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a. That's slow, but it's just demonstrating alternating strokes with a 16th note formation. If I would do a little faster, one E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the boom. That's a right hand lead. Now, the uh, left hand lead, all it is, I'm starting with my left hand. One E and the two E and the three, four. Again, one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a. Do it a little faster. One E and the two E and the three E and the four E and the boom. Now here's where I, I get the term turnaround. If I'm doing uh, 16th notes right hand lead, and I want to do make start uh, another one, say one measure doing 16ths like this, and I want to start the next measure doing left hand lead, I'd have one, two, three, four. So now there's something has to occur there to make the transition from the right hand lead to the left hand lead very smooth and again effortlessly. So when I come doing doing a right hand lead, one E and a two, three E and a four E and the that opens up my left hand. Two E and I put an accent and I'm going to the right. One, two, three, four. slow it down somewhat. I'm going to do one measure right hand lead single strokes and I'm going to go right to the, to the second measure. I'm going to alternate measures. The second measure is going to be a left hand lead and back to the right hand lead and back to the left hand lead so on and so forth. Clean effortlessly. No tension, nothing. And something like I said has to recur. I have to put a curve rather. I have to put a double stroke on the last note of the grouping so I can make the change smooth. Do it slow. One measure right hand lead, one measure left hand lead. Double. I'm not in tempo. Okay, just before I forget, um, this is just one surface. And I'm, like I said, I demonstrated on the drum pad so I could speak and, and, and you could hear me and uh, we could slow it down and whatever. But the second part of this video will be a drum set application, which I'll move back there and uh, we'll put on the other cameras and we'll do a drum set application. So what I just did now, let me re review that for a second. I did one measure, single strokes, in 16th note formation, right hand lead. The second measure, I did. I started with the left hand lead, and I, I did it for four beats: one e and a two e and a three e and a four e and a. I go to the next measure to the right hand, then to the left hand, to the right hand, to the left hand. Now do it a little slow. One, two, three. So. I've come up with a formula from the control book again. That book keeps getting in my face. It, keeps, it should get into everybody's face because, in my opinion, it's, it is, well, I can't say it is the greatest, but in my opinion it is. If I say it is the greatest, 
a lot of people will become insulted. But it's everything I say comes out of page five, six, and seven. And I'm not being diplomatic here or political or whatever, but I just I love the book. I studied the book. I've come up with all kinds of creations, all kinds of formulas, substitutions, uh, referencing, and elimination. And right now we, we have a formula. And this formula is going to start, this exercise is going to start from line three of page five as opposed to line one and two. R is the formula. Now I'm going to give you a PDF sheet on it, just a basic one. R is going to equal uh, a right hand lead, single strokes. So if I see four R's in a, in a row, it would be one, two, three, four. If I see left, it would be a left hand lead with the accent on the first stroke. Left, left, left. So now, we're going to take the formula and take it over to the stick control book, starting with line three. We have two rights and two lefts. So that's going to tell me I need one and a two and a right handed lead, three and a four and a left handed lead, and I got to make the change smooth. And like I said, effortlessly. So I'm going to do it slow. One E and a two E in position, three E and a four E. And again, one E and a right. Left now, left E and the left E and the. Notice I'm always in position and I'm always waiting at that tempo to attack the up and coming accent or the, uh, the hand to make the alternating lead happen very smooth. So that's like line two. Right, right, left, left. You can do line two, it's just a reversal of line, I mean line four, it's just a reversal of line three. We're starting with the right, the left hand. One E and the two E and the three E and the four. Left, left, right, right. Left, left, right, right, left. So on and so forth. Now line five, it becomes pretty interesting. Because now I have a right hand lead. And I'm going to have to do a left hand lead and two right hands. Ah. Here we go, here we go. One, E, and a uh, two. Right, right, left, right, left, left, right, left. So let me break that down. Right hand are one, E, and the next one's a left. I'm in position. Two, E, and the. Now you have two right hand. Uh, you have another right coming up. Another right in position for the left. Left, right. Left, left. Right, left, right, right. Left, right, left, left. Now I'm going to throw. Uh, some PDFs here. Basic, you know, I just randomly took some sticking patterns. <clears throat> what you want to do is get comfortable with these. And your objective here is to run down page page five, six, and seven without a mistake at a variety of tempos. The one I, I like as not only just a formula, but it's a uh, really a good hand conditioner is line 13. I'm doing one measure, right hand leads, the next measure, left hand leads. And I'm going to put the tempo, let's just say 100. That's my quarter note. That's one, two. I'm going to do the line 13. It's four rights and four lefts. There you go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One. Now, now excuse me. What you want to do is stay there for, that's out of 100 if you can get to that, uh, I'm sure that you can, and put a timer on. 
for three, four minutes. And just keep doing it over and over and over again until the, until the uh, three minute mark or four minute mark, whatever you have your, your timer on, just set, you know, it goes off. Let's say you do it for three, four minutes at 100. Take, you complete it for three, four minutes. Stop for a second. Now you want to challenge it. Instead of 100, go to, go to an increment of like 106 or 104 and do it for another three minutes. And then stop and maybe take it to another increment of uh, 110, 112. And just bring up the increments, but take a break in between. Give your hands a chance to relax and let the blood flow. We don't want any tension. We don't want any injury whatsoever. So, like I said in the beginning, or somewhere in the video, this is the first uh, part of uh, the uh, turnarounds. And this is one surface. But we're going to start doing stuff like this. This is my floor tom tom, for example. And if I did line three. Back and forth. I'm going to do this on a drum set. And I will give you a PDF for that and show you how to maneuver back and forth like clockwise, counterclockwise, or take page five and do all the page five between two drums or four drums, I mean three drums or four drums if you have them. So when we get to that, we'll get to that. And first I would absolutely get this down before you can get to that, okay? So gentlemen, we'll see you next video.